hello viewers welcome back to my channel so this session is all about an example on a variable size partitioning a numerical can be asked for 6 to 7 marks or sometimes 7 to 8 marks also the problem statement will be like this given below a memory scenario this is given in the question use the first fit best fit and worst fit to place processes of 300 kb so they have given here in the numerical some processes first process is of 300 kb second process p2 is of 25 kb third process is of 125 kb and fourth process is of 50 kb whatever process size is given like this in the numerical same thing you just number the processes the first one becomes p1 p2 like this then you start applying the algorithms because what is that they have asked uh, you have to make use of this first fit best fit and worst fit and use this variable size partitioning which algorithm makes the most efficient use of memory so given is this the very first job is for you to write down okay you are carrying out the first fit algorithm applying the first fit algorithm for this memory scenario to place those four processes first fit says that and here what they have given is this whatever shaded portion i have shown in this numerical in the example in the question itself it is shown like this it indicates that these partitions are already occupied by some processes i have given here simply like px py and pz these three processes have already occupied these partitions now only these two remaining partitions are there in this whether you are able to accommodate the given processes is what you have to carry out here moreover you must be wondering that when i explained you about the variable size partitioning see all these numericals i am writing the memory in the horizontal okay nothing no, no problem you can carry out in this manner also when i explained you the concept i wrote this memory diagram in a vertical fashion so it can be anything horizontal way you can write down the partitions or vertical way so here in all the numericals i'm just using it in the horizontal fashion only it is convenient to place also the processes and to identify the uh, leftover space easily so in the fixed size partitioning if you remember the concept i have already told you that as and when the processes have to be moved it is simply allocated one after the other in the okay contiguous manner so but how come this already uh, you, you, we are showing some processes are uh, already occupying the partitions the reason is those processes which have been moved out and another process which has been moved in that particular process is now there initially it was completely as one single hole but later on as and when the processes got swapped this is the situation at certain point of time so in this situation you have to now make use of the uh, this three algorithms so let us start now using the first fit first fit algorithm allocate the first partition that is big enough 300 kb cannot come here yes it can come here it is 350 only no so you can place p1 here once you place p1 you are getting what some leftover space how much is the leftover space 50 kb fine now next process p2 p2 can come over here because first fit says that you have to allocate the first partition that is big enough so you place p2 here okay p2 will also give you some leftover space because p2 is just 25 kb completely 125 kb is vacant here p3 is 125 kb now in case of variable size partitioning remember it is not like that partition is there or that leftover space belong to that partition because of swap in and swap out the partitions get created whatever is the space inside this partition or available that can be allocated to other processes but that this is not the case with the previous method that is the fixed size partitioning you cannot reallocate that leftover space here you can reallocate so what you can do is p3 can be easily accommodated now here because it is matching exactly 125 kb was here remaining and p3 size is 125 p4 size is 50 kb incidentally we can find that there is some leftover space exactly equal to uh, 50, 50 kb you can place p4 also so you are able to accommodate all the processes okay so successfully completed first fit now carry out second fit sorry <laughs> now carry out the best fit so before applying the best fit this job you have to certainly do you start placing the once again start drawing the memory partitions write down the values also one is 50 second one is 150 kb 
third one is 300 fourth is 350 and 5 is 600 so these partitions are already occupied i'll just fill like this okay occupied partitions now apply the best fit allocate the smallest partition that is big enough which is smallest that means very economically you are going to make use of the memory p1 is 300 350 can be used fine and you have certain leftover partition here leftover space here how much 50 50 kb is remaining okay p2 is 25 kb so uh, best fit says that allocate the smallest partition that is big enough 25 kb can the no doubt can come over here also but it can come in this partition also because the size is 50 process is p2 is 25 kb so you can just put here and still you have the leftover space uh, and that is how much now that is 25 kb so i'll erase this earlier it was 50 now 25 kb is remaining in this fine so you have placed p2 50 was there 25 you have used and you have placed uh, another 25 is remaining then p3 is 125 kb p3 can come over here and you have some leftover space in this okay here and uh, what you can do is this leftover space you calculate p3 is 125 and 150 25 kb is there okay here you have 25 kb and here you have 25 kb fine now what you have to do is you have to place the fourth process fourth process size is 50 kb are you finding any space equal to 50 kb no everything is occupied now the complete whatever were the, uh, whatever was the existing space everything got allotted to the processes nothing is available here you have no doubt this 25 kb and here 25 kb but 25 kb 25 kb is totally becoming to 50 kb process request is also 50 kb but these two are not in contiguous manner hence you cannot accommodate p4 so we can say external fragmentation exists here external fragmentation exist here you were able to accommodate how many processes p1 you were able to accommodate successfully yes p2 also you were able to accommodate p3 also you were able p4 you were not able to accommodate so that is why we can say this yes external fragmentation of 50 kb exists this 50 kb is what the process size next you have to apply what uh, the worst fit algorithm for this memory scenario so just note down as it is the memory okay now what does uh, this one worst fit algorithm says worst fit algorithm says allocate the largest partition that is allocate the largest partition that can hold that particular process and entire list has to be searched start placing the processes using the worst fit allocate the largest partition p1 is 300 the largest is what out of 150 and 350 it is this one do you get any uh, remaining leftover space definitely 300 is the size so 50 is having 50 is still remaining here then uh, p2 size is 25 allocate the largest partition look here though 50 kb is available here you could have accommodated p2 here but you are not supposed to do because worst fit says that allocate the largest partition largest is 150 how much is so that p2 is 25 so completely 125 is remaining here okay p3 is 125 yes p3 you can accommodate here only 125 is there no fine p4 is 50 p4 is also available because easily 50 kb was available you can you can accommodate p4 in this so what is that you have noticed whatever was the space available after allocating the existing processes the same space 
you can start uh, using it for other processes as well. So, here in this worst fit, what you have noticed is you are able to accommodate all the four processes. Whereas, in case of best fit, you were not able to accommodate the last process. Okay. So, worst fit is making use of the memory space efficiently in this example all the four processes got accommodated there is no external fragmentation existing so, uh, so this is how you have to solve the problem and so if you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care